I was done. I didn't want, didn't want anymore. I didn't want to hurt. I didn't want to be down. I didn't. I was done. So I'm hiding out in my, my office. Got Netflix on. I got everything blacked out. Got my pistol out, holding this thing. And I, like I, said, I told you before, I don't know what was going through my head with the Netflix. I was like, well, I better check my watch list, make sure there's something, you know, I don't miss something I wanted to see. And at some point, I'd put the resurrection of Jake the Snake in my watch list because you know, he's a hero of mine when I was a kid. Start that up, playing with the gun, watching the movie. Watching, and the, it, the movie started talking to me. It started hitting me. I started, wow. And Jake the Snake, big hero superstar in my mind. He's a regular dude like me. He's got stuff hurting and messing with him. And you see another guy that cares about him and, and helps him and teaches him some hard lessons and stuff. Then he has him look at himself. I was relating. It made sense to me. Pretty soon the gun's over on the desk. You know, maybe I didn't want to be done. Maybe I did. There was just some point in that movie there that, like, mm -mm, we got to give this a try. And Dallas' own way through his movie, Jake's own way through his movie, they helped me out, pulled me out of a bad spot. And that's something you kind of got to, you got to do for somebody else. Really, really started noticing that my life was turning when I started looking at the certification program. I'm asking myself, dude, what do you care about with some other people you don't even know? I don't know, but I do. Um, I mean, that's all just really, really different stuff for, for me. And I spent a lot of time trying to make the bucks, trying to make the dollars, trying to take control of this, that, and the other. I think I want to. I think I want to look at maybe helping some people out. You know, maybe there's somebody that's you know, trying not to make a bad decision, but really considering a bad decision. You know, maybe give them a little bit of light. Yeah, it's hurting pretty bad when you want to just kiss off that gift you're given a life. They only get so many heartbeats, and when you're ready to just kind of voluntarily say, okay, the ones I got left, don't want them. Yeah. Again, that's why I do what I do. That's why I'm a certified L1 instructor. That's why I'm a fitness professional. You know, working out and exercising is a lot of fun, but no, man, it's a tool to maybe reach some of those people that are ready to just give up like that. That's all. Oh my God. How's it going, bro? Oh, dude. <laughs> Jake, hey, how's it going, man? It's beautiful, man. <laughs> you guys are killing me, <laughs> you guys. <sighs> we come from some dark places, don't we? Yeah, man. I just want you to know something. That as I look back in life now, I started seeing things a little differently, you know, feeling things different. and. Then when I was able to talk to my kids again, be around them, and they actually wanted to talk to me, oh man, things were changing then, man. But something that sticks with me now, you, and people like you, because there's a lot of us, whatever happens the rest of my life, <laughs> if I go down right now, man, I got you to carry on. I just want you to know that, that we do care. You know, I love you, man, and, and, and so proud of you. You were there on a really rough day, Jake. I'm very thankful for you.